hi there welcome to today's class right so for today we try to um proceed in the last class on system of forces right so i'll drop the link to our first two class on system of forces right um in the description of this video so check the description of this video you see our previous class on system of forces well today we're trying to consider some some problem so we have actually learned some four concepts on that system of forces which are going to be applying to solve this problem here. Yeah? So to, let's try to solve this problem here. Yeah. So the question says, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant of the force shown below. So I'm having this force here. So let's find the magnitude and direction. Let us first, let's understand the concept behind magnitude and direction. Magnitude is simply a numeric value, a number, right? An answer, you have a number, a whole number. Or perhaps decimal number in newton that's magnitude direction is simply angle so I'm, I'm looking for magnitude and direction so to find the magnitude of and direction of the what resultant of the force shown below so this this is a concurrent coplanar forces here so i'm finding the magnitude and direction so my first task is to find result resultant force as, as i'm showing here the resultant so that's um i've given formula for Calculating resultant, but for that, we'll start calculating for resultant. Let's try to resolve um, our inclined forces into vertical and horizontal component. This is a force here, inclined at an angle, a force here at an angle, a force here at an angle. So let's try to convert them into vertical and horizontal component. We said it in the last class to convert this quite simple. Just sketch out the um, the diagram, right? Like okay for this angle here now for this one here this is a force and the angle my the restriction becomes something of this nature right so i'll have something of this diagram here observe something like this for this force here and this angle i'm seeing it here so this is like what i'm having here so the force is going out so it will go outward and outward now we said anywhere the angle is lying on right so try to check our last class i i, I explained this concept so whenever the angle is lying on, the angle is lying on this, right? So this line here becomes cost, the cost per se. So I'll have this 20, that becomes the force first, 20 cos this 30 degree. So, so automatically this becomes what? 20 sine 30 degree. I have already resolved this one here into vertical and horizontal component. I'm done. Come down to this one here. Yeah? For this one, I'll be having something of this nature. Let me try to draw this here. Let me draw for this one. Let me draw it here. Observe, please. Let's call this one. Let me call this two. So for two, let's draw two here. Look at two. Something of this nature. So I'll have something of this nature going out, going out. Why is it going out? Because my original force is going out. So I'll have outward this way. This I'm having here. Now we said the angle is lying. The angle is lying on this line. This line becomes cos. This one becomes cos. So it becomes 30, 30 cos. Sorry. Yes, 30 cos 45 degree. So this one becomes what? 30 sine 45 degree. Automatically. I'm done with these two. Let me call these two. Angle one, angle two. Let's call angle three. Let's convert angle three here. Yeah? For this one, I'm just something of this nature. I will draw it out. Something of this nature. This is going outward. So this is going out and out. So this is outward here yeah, and outward here. Yeah. As in this case, this is going out. So I'll be having outward direction such that um, this one here, yeah, observe which one is lying. This is the angle here. Yeah. Is this one lying or this one is lying at the angle? The angle is lying on this one. So this one becomes what? My course. So consider the force first. That is 35 cos the angle 40 then 35 sine 40 automatically so now this, are, this is like I've, so I've now converted all the forces in angle in terms of what vertical and horizontal component i'm done now let's now start with our tax what's your tax the question says find the magnitude and the direction of the what of the resultant force so the magnitude will be in value the direction to what will be in value but in terms of angle that's the concept so let's find the resultant force we said that recall that we said 
recall that last class we said that resultant force r is equal to the square root of what summation f of x squared i be now plus summation f of y squared i can i can use this and perhaps i can still use that i can say that r is equal to the square root of summation of h squared plus summation of v squared any of it i'm still correct you see the same thing please the same thing right now look up please let's choose to use this one i say i can i can see this one any of it you see correct let's use anyone let's use for let, let's use this one first um this is first to get my resultant force i need to know summation f of x x which is, this, which is the same thing as what summation h i need to know summation f of y which is the same thing as what summation v they are the same thing so let's start with calculating for forces acting along x as x for this one here calculating for the force acting um acting along along what the x as x right x as x you can call it f of x if you want to that is it will, be, it will, it will not be in terms of summation f of x so it means that my summation of f of x is equal to now our tax lines look for forces acting horizontally or perhaps you can call it forces acting along the s as x so this is observed for my first one here my first one here this one will give me this so now i'm not looking at this one again i'm looking at the converted to vertical horizontal component now for my f of x this is x as x here this is x this is vertical this is horizontal so i'll consider this first that's 20 cos 30 degree i'm done with this now when it comes to um considering our forces we said that uh, when it comes to horizontal forces um we said okay hang on hang on hang on at this point here consider consider right hand force with positive and left hand force with what negative right so it means that my summation of the having right to say better still summation of f of x is equal to this is my horizontal as f of x right this and it's facing what right hand side so it's positive so i have 20 cos 30 degree i'm done with this i'm done with this one look at this one again this one here yeah? for this one i'm having this look at the um f of x part this is x as x here yeah? this is vertical y as x this is x as x but x as x right forces that the addition of the forces acting along x as x so this is a force acting along x as x but it's following what a negative direction so that becomes negative 30 cos 40 30 cos what the 45 per se 45 i'm done with considering this one next up which one again has horizontal x as x this is what under x as x here but facing what negative direction i'll have minus 35 um cos 40 cos 40 right in degrees in degrees degrees so aside from these three here yeah? one two three is there any force again acting along x as x no no more force so i'm done here yeah? my tax line is that my summation of f of x is equal to 20 cos 30 what do you have there if i punch 20 cos 30 i'll have um one seven point three two and minus if i punch 30 cos 30 cos 45 there i'll have two one point two one finally if i punch this is minus minus if i punch 35 cos 40 35 cos 40 i'll have 26.81 simplify this my summation of f of x is equal to um 17.32 um right minus 21.21 uh, minus 26.81 my answer there is negative 
30.7 please um in newton right in newton please newton in newton please um newton newton i'm done with my summation of f of x which is this let's get what summation of f of y that becomes calculating calculating for the force um acting acting um along along what they along y as x right that becomes summation of what f of y all right i'll consider i'll consider this but talking of y as x so I'll consider upward force to be positive and downward force to be negative from the idea of statics right we discussed all this in the last class so next up let's now check in here so summation of f of x f of y will be equal to sorry f of y will be equal to let's look at forces acting vertically either upward or downward we are putting them there for this one here this is acting upward and upward is positive so we'll have positive 20 sine 30 20 sine 30 i'm done with this one here for after this one i have number two here this is acting upward positive that's plus 30 times plus 30 sine sine what the 45 degrees 45 in degrees degrees next up i'm done with this one and two come to three this is a vertical sense we're coming down that become negative because we said down force is negative so i have minus what the 35 sine 40 degrees right 40 degrees i'm done with this i said from one two three which force again acts upward this one here is acting upward observe this one is acting out upward of 25 kilonewton that becomes plus 25 let's get this done please please summation of f of y is equal to first is first 20 sine 30 is what 20 sine 30 I have 10, right? Plus 30 sine 45. 30 sine 45 there. I have 21.21. Next up, minus 35 sine 40. 35 sine 40. I have 22.49. And finally, plus 25. If I simplify this, solution of f of y will be equal to 10 plus 21.21 plus, oh sorry, minus, per se, minus 22.49, then plus 25, I have 33, 33.7 Newton as my value for f of y and i have negative 30.7 as my value for f of x so let's get a resultant force r is equal to the square root of we just said summation f of x squared this value for this one is this so i have minus 30.7 all squared right plus i have a plus sign here this is f of y right which is this one here then i will square it i will square it so this is square here it is square right so square this value 33.7 all squared if i simplify this one more better i'll have that my r is equal to 30 right 30.7 all squared i have that my square root in this value here if i square this value i'll have 942.49 plus if i square this value here 33.7 squared i'll have 1135.6 9 sum of these two value if i sum up 1135.69 with 942.49 i'll have r to be equal to the square root of 2078.18 then take the square root of the value there if i square root my answer there i'll have 45 point um this is 6 newton so my 
resultant force right resultant is resultant force is simply 45.6 45.6 newton let's get a direction right the magnitude for the direction um my direction we said for a direction the that is quite simple the direction is simply the angle right the angle so let's get the angle to get the angle to get the angle All right, let's get the angle. We said to get the angle, to get the direction, that becomes tan theta is equal to summation f of y over summation f of x. So tan theta is equal to f of y is what? f of y is 33.7, 33.7 all over f of x is negative 30.7 but i'm trying to get angle so i'm not consider the negative sign right so from here i have that um theta is equal to if i divide the 3.7 by 30.7 i'll have 1.0977 so take time here i'll have that theta is equal to tan inverse of 1.0977 my theta there is equal to if i take tan invert i'll press a shift and then tan of my hands are there i'll have 47.6 degrees as my direction so this is my magnitude and the direction of my resultant force of that system All right so let me give an assignment to do so try doing doing this assignment and put your answer in the comment section. I'll reply you as fast as, as I can. So try to solve this one here. Yeah? Try to solve this concurrent coplanar forces here. Yeah? This is um 300 newton. The angle here is 30 degrees. This one here, yeah? I have 390 newton. The angle here is 67.5. 38 degrees i have an angle here this is 60 degrees the force there is 200 newton right and finally i have an angle here that's 26.56 degrees and the force here is um 24 newton the same question right so find the magnitude and the direction of distance force all right, so try to get this done and put your answer in the comment section below. I'll reply you as fast as, 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 as I can. Just follow this procedure, right? Find the resultant force, convert this one here to vertical and horizontal component, all the angles. When you are done, you apply this concept here. Then you find the resultant force, right? And you find your angle. Just what I need in the comment section is your value for angle and your value for resultant, right? So I'll reply you as fast as I can. See you in the next class.